Oh, I think I want another one of these. Mm. You think I should order one? Yeah, sure. Sumasan, oh. Sumasan. <laughs> you just say you sh you wanna boops. No, <laughs> no, no. I want more. I want one more of these. What should I say? <laughs> so uh, hello everybody. Uh, I'm uh, here with uh, my good friend Mari. She's a uh, ninja girl from <laughs> northern Japan. Yeah. And I'm going to be really teaching ninja though. <laughs> I'm going to be teaching Mari how to uh, how to shoot. Yeah. She's a good friend of the family and uh, she's actually kind of adopted herself into the family. Yeah, Just tell three. everybody about yourself. Hi, my name is Mari as uh, he mentioned already, but um, I am the number 3 daughter. Uh, his wife is Japanese and uh, she and me are working together so now uh, very close to the over the family so I already say um, number three daughter. How long you've been in Canada? Oh yeah I've been here for already five years. Oh. Yeah. And you came from what part of Japan? Oh, I'm from Hokkaido yeah. prefecture yeah. Have you ever shot before? A uh, long time ago you told me once. Yeah. But, I did. Uh, it's, I, Technically, first time. So just a rifle as before, right? Yeah. So now we're gonna go and teach you how to shoot a pistol. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty fun stuff. Yeah, I just saw you at the da 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 right? The cool sound, <laughs> cool, cool one. <laughs> okay. So uh, hey, everybody, stay tuned for this series while I uh, teach Mari how to shoot. Hello, everybody. We're at the Chilliwack Fish and Game uh, Club in in uh, British Columbia, Canada, and today I'm going to be teaching Marty how to shoot. So come on in, Marty. Hey! It's nice day. Okay, lots of enthusiasm there. Let's get right into some shooting drills. First off, I'm going to uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of the firearms, some of the targets we're going to be using, and, uh, and then we're going to start shooting. Sure, cool. Too. All right. Guns we're going to use today. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I'm going to open my box up. So the gun are always orientated downrange. So when I take them out, I'll just show them to you. Ooh, wow. So uh, this is the main gun we're going to use today for you. This is a Browning Buckmark, mm -hmm. and it's in 22. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, just take the safety lock off it and make sure it's clear make sure there's no uh, magazine in and place it down on the table this is uh, a nine millimeter I'm not sure if we're going to use this today this is also clear uh, and this is a 1911 chambered and 22 again oh, that's cool. don't know if we're going to use this today or not but uh, we're going to see I think we will use this one. This might actually be the first one we're using. And then we have uh, a single action revolver. This one for revolver? Yeah, this yeah. is a revolver. And it actually has a safety on it, which not uh, all single actions do. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to check to make sure all the Chambers are empty. All right, good. Put that on the table, and finally, this is a 22 Whoa, that's a revolver. Uh, it seems to be around, but uh, it's 10 of a uh, 22. So we're gonna use that today. And, uh, we also have another Walther, much like this. Uh, that belongs to our camera person. I uh, don't know if we're going to take it out, but it doesn't have an optic on it, so that's why we, we brought it out. And uh, we're hoping that our camera person also joins us in some fun here today. Might, might not be on camera, but that'd be cool too. All right, so uh, we're just about to get ready. All right, so let's head on down range and talk about what we're going to do.
Okay, Imani, uh, what we're going to do first is uh, I've got an empty magazine and I have an empty gun. Yep. And the slide is locked back. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this gun and then uh, we're going to practice loading uh, or putting the magazine in the firearm without ammunition first. All right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I make sure that it's clear. There's nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. I've already examined the bore previously, so I know that that's clear. Uh, so this is a 1911 style firearm. With this gun, it will not fire uh, with the magazine out because it's a 10, uh, 22 and it's, it's not, uh, not good to dry fire a 22. Uh, this is the safety on the side here. When the hammer's back, if it's loaded, you put that safety up and you can't fire. This here is the magazine release. So I'll show you what that does. Again, empty magazine. This is how you load it. Uh, with the uh, squared off part uh, going backwards and the round off, rounded off part where the bullet is facing forward. You put it in. Now to take the magazine out, you're going to reach over with your thumb and press that button and the magazine's gonna come out. Now, sometimes, if your thumb isn't big enough for some guns, you'll just take the thumb of your uh, support hand and press that button as well. If you don't want to lose uh, your, your firm grip, or otherwise, you can just turn your hand a little bit and press that button. This also has a grip safety. So you have to have a proper grip on this gun in order to fire. All right. So uh, I'm going to give you this gun with this empty magazine in it. And I'm going to get you always to point the firearm downrange. Don't point it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And always keep your finger off the trigger. So we're going to put it right there mm -hmm. along the side. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So what I want you to do is take a really high grip. Wrap these three fingers around the grip. Mm -hmm. Right. And I want to want you to have front and back pressure. Mm -hmm. All right. This finger along the, the frame of the gun, mm -hmm. or along the slide of the gun, or the frame of the gun. Okay. But never inside the trigger guard. Okay. All right. All right. And then uh, you take this thumb, stick it way up in the air. At this time, if I put the safety on, stick it way up in the air. You're going to take your support hand and going to put it super high, and then twist it down forward a bit. All right. So your thumb is along the side of the firearm, along the frame. All right. Uh, and this finger is right up underneath the trigger guard. It's kind of like I'm pointing my thumb at something. Right? So my, I've got a kind of a straight arm and thumb pointing it at the target. Now, uh, I don't want to really grip with these fingers because then I'm going to turn the gun a little bit. So I want to front and back. Okay. So after I get this grip, I'm going to rest my strong hand thumb either on the back of my support hand thumb or in this case, because it's a 1911, I could just rest it right here on the, uh, the safety. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, sometimes you can do that with certain firearms. And this safety is on both sides. So, first off, let's uh, have you take this gun in hand. Oh, a little bit heavy. <laughs> yeah, so face down range. Yep. All right. So, I'm just going to take a look at your grip here. Good, good. So, uh, we're going to uh, get you to stick that thumb right up in the air mm -hmm. and put okay. this hand right here. This thumb up and put this hand right here right and uh, then point your thumb forward so your thumb should come out here right here so you're gonna get a little Ooh. higher Ooh, right really? like that okay and then this thumb oh, either okay. rests behind here Ooh, whoa. okay All so right. that's your grip that's a pretty good grip okay so before we go on what i want to do is now work with your stand so just keep that grip there mm -hmm. we're going to stand square to the target and we're going to unlock our knees. Just unlock them. We're not going to squat <laughs> because we're not going to the bathroom. Okay. Right? <laughs> and we're not going to stick our butt out because we're not twerking. Okay. No twerking, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. I tried. Uh, it's not yoga either, so we're not doing yoga. So uh, basically, uh, when you got that kind of unlocked knees, uh, what you can do if you want, it, we want you to lean forward at your waist. So you kind of lean in into it. 
And then when you bring your arms out, just uh, twist the elbows out just a tad. Not that much, but just a tad. Oh, okay. Not bringing it back, just kind of twisting them out. Okay. All right? Whoa. Now, keep your, your feet Straight. pointed. Okay. All right. Cool. So, <laughs> what I want you to do now is uh, look at the target and then bring the firearm up and take a sight picture. So, you need three things for a sight picture. You need your back sight, your front sight, and your target. So, Today we're just using paper plates uh, to start with. I want you to put the front post in between, in that notch. And oh, I want I the see. top of the front post yeah. level with the top of the back post. Should I cross it, uh, one side of the eye? Nope. Two. You should keep both eyes open both if you eye. can. Oh, okay. But if you can't, then close your left eye. Both yeah. And lean forward, you're not scared of the gun. <laughs> And so, uh, equal height, and there should be equal amount of light on both sides. So basically, oh, those three dots, okay. those three dots should line up. Okay. okay. All right. Now wow. I want you to bring That's the gun cool. back into your body. Yeah. And then push out again and to take <sighs> up a sight picture. Uh, yep. Got it. Yep. And you're just pointing at the center of that disc. Then bring back in again. This is not center, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So those, uh, yeah. So all of those three dots are just lined up. Yep. And push out again, take up the sight picture, and take it back in. Okay. All right. So Ooh. now uh, I'm going to get you to start putting the magazine in. Okay. Uh, so now we have the magazine and the gun. What I want you to do is practice taking it out and loading it. So to take it out, you're going to keep it pointed down range, press that button, and catch it in your left hand. But if it falls to the ground, do not pick it up. You've got a gun in your hand, right? So we're going oh, to make the we gun. we cannot do this. Yeah, we Holding. don't want to do oh, that. Especially when we're first learning. Mm -hmm. All right? So, uh, and then we're going to practice uh, racking the slot. So, take the gun. Again, it's unloaded. So I'm going to pick up that magazine. Take the magazine in your left hand, just like that. Okay. Right. And then insert it into the magazine well. And that's good. That's yeah. good. It's all it's all in. Then take up a, a grip, a proper grip, and point the gun at the target. And then I want you to unload. So you're gonna unload right now. So bring the gun back in. Uh, press that uh, magazine release button. Right there. You can press it with that thumb if you can't reach it with the other thumb. Oh. Yeah. Good. That's how you're gonna load it. Okay. Okay. Uh... So we're gonna go for. I'm gonna go uh, and get you a uh, a charged magazine. Okay. So basically, what I want you to do is keeping the muzzle downrange. I want you to take the magazine, load it into the firearm. Just you know, give it a solid push at the end. Then you're gonna grab over top here with the heel of your palm and grip your fingers over top and pull it back and let go. All right. Then you're going to press forward, take up a sight picture, and <laughs> one shot. And after the shot, you're going to take your finger out of the trigger guard and off of the trigger. So again, we're going to push out, take up a sight picture, and <laughs> one shot. And take Whoa. it back. See how close they were? Again, we're going to push out, take up a sight picture, and Whoa. take a shot. So, I'm gonna get you to do that. I'm gonna unload the firearm first. We're going to, oh, it didn't oh. come out. Oh. It's in the jack rail. Well, yeah. so I'm going to get you to hold on to that. And I'm gonna give you this magazine with a few fire with a few cartridges in it. All right. So take this in your left hand. Okay. Oh, this thing. And it's with your with your with this finger right up here, right. and put Is it in. Empty? That's it? empty, right? Okay. So put it in, and click it in. Now, with your with your high grip here, I want you to reach over top here, and with, yeah, right like that. Pull back and let go. Yeah, Ooh. just sort of, sort of let go. Yeah. Now, because if you just ride it forward like that, you don't know if it goes into battery. Mm. All right. So. Keeping your finger off of the trigger, uh, get your good your good grip. 
get your thumb up in the air, your strong thumb up in the air. This this thumb. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, and wrap your right hand now. around it. Cock your finger forward, your thumb forward like that. And nice and high. Good. Ooh. Now I want you to very carefully uh, put put the uh, the sights right on the middle target. Yeah. And when you're ready, put your finger inside the trigger guard and pull the trigger. Yeah. All right. Yes. And can I shoot? Yes. Cool. You hit the target. Whoa! We're only at three meters, but you hit the target. That's good. Whoa! All right. So, uh, point the three dots right at the center of the target yeah. and go again. Three, two, one. Cool. Whoa. All right. Almost to the center. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, what you're doing is you're kind of sitting backwards. I yeah. want you to stand oh, okay. up straighter and yeah. just lean into it a little bit. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. We were shooting today with Madi Chan on the range. We were using 22s, which I do believe is the best caliber to start a new shooter off with, especially someone who's never handled a gun before. Next time out, we'll be bringing out the 9mm, possibly 38 Spectrals, and even maybe down the road, we'll bring out a, a 45 ACP and a, uh, a 357 but uh, that's uh, down the road away, so hopefully you will stay tuned in. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and share this video. Thanks. Hopefully we'll see you next time.